This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'm Cindy Harris. In this episode, we're making chocolate chip muffins. The thing that's great about this recipe is they're a perfect size muffin and they're just great for a snack. They're not too sweet, but they give you just that little bit of chocolate. For these muffins, I'm going to get a 12 cup muffin pan and I'm going to line it with some paper liners. I'm going to set our muffin pan aside and I'm going to get a large bowl. These muffins are made in one big bowl like this. So we'll start with our dry ingredients and I'm going to begin by measuring out one and a half cups of flour, a half a cup of white sugar, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now with a spatula, I'm going to mix these ingredients together. And uh, what I want to make sure is that that brown sugar is pretty much mixed throughout the flour. To the dry ingredients, I'm now going to measure out a half a cup of chopped walnuts and a cup of chocolate chips. Now you can use any kind of chocolate chip you'd like. I'm using a semi-sweet today, but if you wanted to use a milk chocolate or a 60% bittersweet, you could absolutely do that. And I'm gonna add that into my bowl with my walnuts. Then with the spatula, I'm just gonna toss the nuts and the chocolate chips in with the flour. Now in a one cup measuring cup, I'm going to measure out a half a cup of milk. Now I'm just using a 1% milk, but you can use whatever you've got on hand. And to the milk, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of canola oil. So that'll take my level up to three quarters of liquid in the measuring cup. And then to the milk and the oil, I'm going to add one egg. And with my fork, I'm just going to carefully mix that together just to get the egg broken up a bit. Now I'm going to take my milk, oil, and egg mixture. I'm going to pour that right in. And I'm going to use my spatula to just mix these ingredients together. Now I just want to keep stirring it until the flour is totally moistened. We don't want to over mix this batter because then that makes for a tough muffin. But this just takes a minute or so. And that looks about right. Now I'm going to take my medium cookie scoop and I'm going to put one medium sized scoop of um, muffin batter in each of the 12 cups. And the reason I do that is because I want to end up with 12 muffins. And uh, so I start by dividing the batter up a little bit at a time. And you can see I have a little bit in each of the wells. Then I can go back and divide the rest of the batter up. And that way I'll be sure that I have 12 muffins that are about the same size. I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to put these muffins in the oven and put the timer on for about 18 minutes. And then at that point, I'm going to check and see how they're doing. And if they look like they're pretty close to being done, I'll check it with a toothpick and make sure that they're baked all the way through. So it's been about 18 minutes and I have my toothpick and I'm going to put it right into one of the muffins. Now that's dark because I hit a chocolate chip. So I'm gonna wipe that off and try again. There we go, nice and clear. Now I'm gonna let these sit in the pan for about five minutes to cool. Now that the muffins have cooled just a little bit, I'm gonna take a fork and I'll just pop them right out of the pan and put them on a cooling rack to let them cool just for a few minutes. Well, if you'd like to try these chocolate chip muffins at home, 
just go to our website and visit the Nothing But Muffins show notes and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time. Thank you.